All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with today's uh, last session. Um, I'm Charles Lively. I'm a science engagement engineer along with Lippy here in the user engagement group. And so now we've um, put together a panel of experts that will be able to answer questions for you on how you can get the most out of using Perlmuter. And so here in the room, we have Brandon Cook and Lori Steffi. So if both of you would like to come up and introduce yourselves and you know your title and what you work on here at NURSE. Okay, um, thanks Charles. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm Brandon Cook. Um, I guess I've, I've been a NURSE user since 2009 um, and I've been a NURSE staff member since 2016. Um, and We've done a variety of things over, over the years, but at the moment, I'm the group lead for the programming environments and models team. Um, and so we're focused on things like uh, making sure the Jupyter interface and the command line interface make sense and work well together, um, you know, working on the Python and uh, MPI and C++ and Fortran support in uh, the compilers and interpreters and those sorts of things in the environment. Thank you. And now we have Lori. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lori Steffi. I've been at NERSE since 2017. I started as a NISA postdoc um, working with Stephen on DESI. Now I also work with the D3D super facility project, so working with them on that real-time workflow that Debbie put up. Um, I'm in our data and analytics services group, and I work on our containers team. Thank you. And so we will continue on. We also have three other our, of our nurse staff online, Lisa, Steve, and Jack. And so we'll have each of you introduce yourself as well. Lisa, would you like to start? Sure. Hi. Uh, my name is Lisa Gerhardt. I'm in the data and analytics and AI services group at NERSC and uh, yeah, we just changed our name. It's a little hard. Um, uh, let's see, until recently, I was the NERSC integration, uh, the NERSC users integration lead for the Perlmutter acceptance. Um, I'm also heading up the NERSC user issues team for Perlmutter, which is helping to make sure that we have some consistency on the environment going forward. Um, and I also do a lot of work on the file systems and data transfer and, and uh, other I.O. and data movement related problems. Thank you. Uh, Steve, would you like to go next? Sure. Hello. I'm Steve Farrell. I'm uh, one of the machine learning engineers at NERSC. I'm in the same group as Lisa, uh, data, AI, and analytics services or something like that. Um, I lead the AI services team in the, in the DAS group. Uh, I started at the lab in the physics division as a postdoc. I came to NERSC in uh, 2018, so I guess it's been over five years now. So broadly, I, along with my colleagues, support the machine learning workloads on our supercomputers. Uh, we deploy software. We make thing, we make sure things work. Uh, I work a lot on benchmarking with uh, MLPerf kind of benchmarks for science. Um, and we work with application teams and, and try to uh, help out with research, too. That's all. Next. Thank you. You're up, Jack. OK, so I'm Jack Deslup. Uh, I've been at NERSC for just a little over a decade, I think. I joined here after doing a PhD at UC Berkeley in, uh, in physics. Um, I lead the application performance group. Um, and uh, I guess that encompasses to some extent our NESAP program, um, which uh, is all about how we get applications. And now we're kind of thinking towards workflows to uh, run really well on the current and upcoming systems at, at NERSC. So that's kind of been my uh, specialty over the last few years. Awesome, awesome, thank you. 